The Kelloland On The Road crew has been putting on a lot of miles this month in an effort to bring you three more inspirational stories about your neighbors in Kelloland. Host Mike Huther is joining us today to tell us a little bit more about the stories that required travel to parts of Kelloland that few of us have ever been and give us some behind the scenes information about what we'll be seeing in tomorrow night's show. Welcome, Mike. Bob, good to be back. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Thanks for being on. You bet. My pleasure. Yes, yes. And I see that you are sporting your popsicle shirt today. Oh, it's got a summertime flavor. Yes. The, Love uh, it. Kelland, this month, uh, these three shows, there's a summertime feel to them. Uh, Taylor and I were in Claremont and Wilmont and Esteline and and it's all summery, and so yeah, I thought I'd wear my popsicle shirt today. I, I love it. Thank it's, you. Thank yeah, you. Tr it's very trendy. Thank you. Yeah, very trendy. So tell me, what is the m thing that is surprising you most as you are crossing the state, meeting new people, finding out all of these different stories that are sort of uncovered? I don't think it's a surprise, but I think it's just something that has been reaffirmed with me, and that is that everybody has their own story. Uh, every town has something really unique about it, something inspirational and motivational about it and and I think the uh, the great thing is that Taylor and I along with the help of you know Jane and Paul and so many others here at Kell Land we've been able to kind of bring that to light and it's just been uh, wonderful and I'll tell you one thing that's not a surprise is that people are hungry for this stuff they want to see it on TV and thank goodness for Kell Land uh, that's what we're doing great so you've got three stories yes yes tell us about the first one well, the, the first one is, uh, was in Claremont. Mm -hmm. And Taylor and I drove a long, long way to get to Claremont, South Dakota. Uh, and in fact, we were, we were hungry when we got there, and there was no restaurant when <laughs> we got there. But anyways, we, we did a story on uh, uh, old Claremont honker be uh, baseball. And in the olden days, the honkers were the team to beat all across the state. And, and now they're trying to revive that tradition, revive that history, that storied history of success. And our story is telling the Kellan viewers how they're making that happen. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of love, a lot of sacrifice, but Claremont Honker Baseball is back. And by the way, uh, they fed us a, a pizza that they made uh, there at the concession stand. And so Taylor and I were very, very thankful. So thanks, Claremont Honker Baseball. How was the concession stand food? Oh, it was really good. Yeah, it, but we were so hungry. we could. But it was, <laughs> it was really, really good. Uh, great, great. Okay, and then your second story takes you to the Happy Days Garage. Tell us a little bit about that. And another thing, uh, Kellan viewers, for the very first time, these three stories were all referrals yeah. sent to me sure. or sent to Kellan. And, and we referred to a story about uh, Paula Thaden. And Paula is in Wilmot, South Dakota, a beautiful town. And within that town, uh, Paula's created, and her, her husband is created what's called the Happy Days Garage. And it's just phenomenal. It's a safe, wonderful, beautiful, inspirational place where every day Paula will make these wonderful baked goods, these wonderful treats. And once the sign goes out, come on in. Uh, everybody from around the town comes on into Paul's garage. And I think the thing that really touched me the most is that it's not just a place for the adults to come hang out with Paula. More importantly, it's a great place for the young people of Wilmot to come in and hang out with Paula. It's, it's a wonderful story. You will not want to miss it. And the third story, the third story takes us to Esteline. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that one. Boy, Esteline has really got a good thing going. Uh, they have a rodeo that's become one of the best amateur rodeos in, in all of South Dakota. But it didn't just happen on its own. The story will kind of take you back to how this all came about. There's a transplant, this rodeo cowboy comes into town with his wife and then uh, gets to know this mayor and between the two of them they decide, hey, let's put on a rodeo. And they did, and it's become just something really, really wonderful for that town and for all the people of Kelland. And you're going to love this. And by the way, the rodeo cowboy is still a rodeo cowboy today. Yeah. It is spry, uh, sprite age, and, and it's just it's a great story. You'll love it. Yeah, great. So how can people tune in to see all of these stories? And Kelland, you've got to see these things. I mean, it will pump you up. It's great uh, discussions to have with your family, your coworkers. Uh, it's on 6.30, and here's an easy way to remember it. It's the last Tuesday of the month. 
the last Tuesday of the month after the Kellogg News. So at 6.30 Central Time, 5.30 Mountain Time on the last Tuesday of the month, tune into Kellogg and watch On the Road. Uh, it, it'll, make your, it'll make your month. That's great. That's Thanks, awesome. Bob. Thank Thanks you. so much, Mike.